What's up everyone? This is Derek here with uh, a fun little video today. A um, little backstory, I suppose. Uh, I'm, as you know, a big game collector, but I'm also a huge fan of old card games and video games and toys and all kinds of fun retro -y goodness. Uh, recently, I sold off my Famicom collection to our friend Ben Parker, and over the course of a couple weeks, we worked out a good deal paying that off, and I used a little bit of that to pick up a fun new card game, uh, well, old card game. I'm a huge fan of, of sci-fi, and especially 50s, 60s, 70s style sci-fi art is awesome to me, so when I found out that there was a card game like this that combined that, you know, old card games, old sci-fi art, vintage collectability, I knew I had to have it. Turns out the game is fairly cheap. I was able to get two booster boxes here for not very much at all. Um, a very, very small portion of what Ben paid me for my stuff went to this, so that's really exciting. But he requested that I open a few of these packs up and just kind of show off what, uh, what some of this stuff looks like. This game came out in 94, uh, just three months after Magic was released. So it was at a time when <clears throat> card games were kind of in their infancy, and no one quite knew what they were doing with games yet. So cards didn't have consistent designs or uh, styles of gameplay or anything like that. Nowadays, most card games, you know, people can say, oh, it's a Magic clone or something like that. Back then, you really didn't have that. There were all kinds of crazy games. In 93, there was a game um, based off of Fighting Fantasy. It was just called Battle Cards. And the cards had, uh, like, silver scratch-off lottery ticket style co hero cards. And every time you would attack your opponent, they would scratch one off. And you found three wound spots. They were dead, and then you threw the card away because it was all scratched off. So no one quite knew what they were doing yet. Well, Magic caught on in, you know, early 94. This game came out in August and sort of borrowed from that style, um, but had some really cool deck building mechanics, it turns out. Uh, one thing that's really crazy about this game is there were a ton of sets, and there were something like 3,200 cards that were released for the game, which is incredibly huge compared to most card games at the time. I mean, even when Pokemon came out, you know, we it was years before we had 3,200 Pokemon cards. So, I'm just going to go right in, open just, you know, the first few packs of these here. Just kind of show off what we've got. I personally have never opened any of this stuff up. I discovered this was a game, like, six days ago. So, we'll see. Uh, I'll be learning as, just as much as you guys will. One little uh, bit of transparency here. Um, I did crack the first pack open already, right as Ben said, you should record these. And I was like, okay, put them aside and I'll start recording. Move these out of the way here. I just think this box is super cool. Um, but yeah, as you can just tell from the from the age, the, there's just no real understanding to like how to market this stuff yet. Here we've got like the address for a company that no longer even exists. I wonder if anything's there. It'd be kind of cool to find out. The booster packs, um, for anyone that's seen Magic cards or anything, you know they had art and stuff. These, these did not. Um, this is uh, a reprint of the original edition. This set specifically, I think, came out in like early 95. But it's uh, essentially just sort of a revamped version of the initial set designed to look a little bit nicer. And uh, it was originally on some real thin kind of pocked um, paper, and with this set they went into more of the, um, general style of card, where it's kind of that glossy, plasticky feel, like most trading card games have now. But, we'll open one of these up. And as far as I'm aware, the rare, uh, there's no real way to tell the rare without knowing where it is in the box, or in the pack, but, uh, there's a checklist online that I think says like the third or fourth card in is the rare so 
Not really sure on that. I'll find that out as I'm going through later. But the the designs for these are, especially compared to some of the cards you'll see nowadays, definitely basic. And some of these like uh, background effects make some of the cards kind of hard to read. But this one is an injury. One thing that's cool, um, one rule I do know about the game, there are different types of card that you can build your deck with, and they have different strength costs. This one's a 6. To have a 6 cost in your deck, you have to have a 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 as well. You don't have to play them in order, I don't think, um, but you do have to have them in the deck to even include it. Um, but, see if that clears up a little bit there. It's not playing nice. There we go. Injury. It's cool, just sewing that guy's forehead back together. It's kind of neat. Comet Dragonus. That's a really cool looking card. Some crazy art on that. Looks like there's like like painted handprints on its shoulders and stuff. Again, at this point, I don't quite know what any of this does, but it's cool to see what these look like and to see what this game. Uh, at least from a cosmetic standpoint, was trying to offer. We're offensive, defensive, electronic warfare. Cool. Dashboard effect there. Corporate Minesweeper. It's kind of a cool gold card. I do know this is sort of its, its shields. So you combine that shields with the strength, and that would be their health. I don't know exactly how you... How you do combat, but that's a that's a rule I've heard mentioned as well. A small planet for anyone that's played Magic. This game kind of borrowed from that. It has land cards, these T terrain cards. They give you a little definition about like what what a some flavor text, if you will. But uh, one thing that's kind of crazy: some of this art is. Computer-generated ships, some of it is like hand-drawn little aliens, and then other ones are actual photos of real-life planets from space. So, they had a kind of a wide variety of designs in this game. Meteor shower, that's really cool. It's a cool, cool fog effect on the trees there. Yeah, kitty, I know. I'm busy. Oh, upside down. Okay. I wonder if maybe that's where, like, rarity switches. It'd be cool to find out. Mercenary. You guy's pretty cool. Gravity wave. A Mechad light cruiser. Ooh. I do know that Mechad is, like, one of the races in the game. I think they're... 8 or 11 or something different races in the game that you can play as. And I know I remember I recognize that name from some of the lore stuff I was reading. That's really cool. Sort of like space squids. That's super cool. They're jet like boring creatures which eat in swarms. They eat monsters and dragons. Oh no, our dragon from earlier is an enemy there. Multi purpose phasers. I do know you can stack weapon cards onto your ship cards to do like additional damage again don't know exactly how that plays out but i have read that and we've got lastly a stellar map provides a ship with the following no hazards can be played on a ship and ship receives energy points before the black hole does don't know what that means but that's probably good being able to do something before a black hole does something to you i in any situation, I'd imagine is good. All right, let's do a let's do another one here. Let's see what we got. Anti tractor. Oh, that's a cool color for that card. Hard to read. Garbage scow. Neat. I wonder if there are foils in this game. I haven't I haven't seen that mentioned anywhere. Oh jeez. What does that even say? Tram refit. Huh. 
But yeah, you can definitely see that gloss effect that I was talking about that they went with with this reprint of set one. The Krebiz Light Carrier Capsule. Oh, that guy's really cool. Transporter Malfunction. See what I mean, though? Some of these, some of that card design behind just makes some of those text really hard to read. And I know some of that's, like, lost in translation through the camera, but really, I mean, that's, that's tough to see. Escort Capsule. Distribution Node. A small Planet. That's a really cool... Sort of sunrise over the planet there. That's neat. Comet. That's an override. The Silicis Eye. That's neat. Oh, solar Dragoness. I guess uh, as far as the four people in the world who still care about this game... Uh, there are apparently a lot of people who think the Dragonus cards are actually pretty good. I've seen that listed in, like, uh, there's a website, Board Game Geek, Geek sorry, um, where there are still some people that discuss this game at length, and I, I have seen Dragonus decks, uh, discussed, so I think that one's probably pretty popular. And, I mean, just a general rule of thumb, everyone loves dragons, anything. A few more of these here. EM burst. Well, that's a cool ship. I like that like half moon design that they went with for some of these ships. It's a neat design. Sirens. <laughs> and then you get ships like this, or capsules like this, that are just almost lazy. Ooh. The image on this one is very, very dark. Sorry. Bump my tripod here. Give me one second. Play nice thing. That's not nice. I'm trying to make a cool video here. You're just being a butt. Well, give that a shot. Research base. That's the card I was looking at before we so rudely interrupted there. It's kind of hard to see, but... Whoa. That's like a full art style card. And see what I mean? That card's impossible to read. What, what does that even say? The Grand Chieftain's Flagship. Whoa. Crewman, and then see what I mean? This, the art on this is, is bad. I mean, even like a, a pretty general artist could probably put that guy on paper. I do think, despite being hard to read, um, this the fact that all the cards have this wide variety of color effect on the back is pretty neat. Dust cloud, bureaucracy, light cruiser, and oh, that one looks really cool. A star system, a mech ad system, even cool. Uh, we're already at fourteen minutes here. Let's see if we can get get to five and twenty, and we'll call it a. We'll call it quits here. This is the first time I've ever tried to record opening up packs, so not the not the fastest run through of this, I'm sure. Uh, Wolks, a frigate. Oh, that's cool. Sexy lady. Every card game's got them, you know. There's always always one of them that looks. 
like that. Nova. What is that? Is it, it's like a screenshot of a movie or something. No, he said it was a drawing. A marine. All his double guns there. He's so cool. Heavy shuttlecraft. <laughs> this guy's awesome. I've seen a couple pictures of him uh, in some of the forums and stuff. I, I just think this guy looks super cool. He's like he's got like those bug mandibles there, like it's almost a uh, a mustache or something. The guy's awesome. Got a armory moon, a boarding party with some super dark art. This is a screenshot of day one of the World Wide Web. What are we looking at here? Phaser Refit. Jokes aside, though, that is kind of a cool looking card. It's, it's a joke. It, it almost looks like the like the the paint tool they were like using to make this image for this card. Like they they meant to screenshot this, but they got the whole screen. You know, Steve sitting at his desk putting this card together and just got fired. Bartender. Monster healing. <laughs> That's cool. And uh, distress beacon. Neat. Alright, let's do one more of these here. And Ben, I know these are your request. If you want to see some more of these, I can definitely film some more of this. Or if anyone's interested in seeing more of these opened, let me know and I can definitely film more of it. There's two boxes. I actually do have another one of a different set coming in the mail, so we can kind of compare what different sets look like. Got a train card, first card in the pack. This one, that's kind of cool. Repair station. Capsule. Sirens again. I think this might be our first double. Nope, nope, Nova. Now I'm talking too soon. Research base. Shuttlecraft. Frigate. So we have most of this pack so far. Um, Fleet Freighter. I really like this blue card design. It's so much different than the other ones. A far said Retreat. A commando. He's a cool looking alien. And lastly, we got a ship mimic. It's cool. I wonder if it gives you it mimics the action of any ship on which it's played. If there are two such ships. That's kind of cool. I don't exactly know how the game's played yet, but that sounds like it's probably a pretty good ability. Be able to just copy a card you have. It's kind of neat. Well, that is the first five packs of a booster box of primary edition of Galactic Empires. Still got like 60 more to go here, but 70 or so, but like I said, if anyone is interested in, in seeing more of these opened or put together, um, let me know, comment, like, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm really excited. I love going through these old card games and learning to play. Luckily, I've got a couple of guys in my friend group that also enjoy these old games so we can get some gameplay out of this. Uh, there are apparently quite a few different starter decks that I'm kind of bidding on right now, trying to find a, a good price for. I don't want to pay a ton for a starter deck because starter decks are always bad, but it'd be nice to have a kind of cohesive build of something where I can at least see kind of what to expect from building a deck. Well, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. If you want to, cool. If you don't, that's whatever. This is like my fifth video. Have a good day.